What is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, we're going to be working up with our whole website. Okay. So first of all, we basically need to work on the homepage. Okay. And we, in order to create, in order to work with the homepage, we need to create the homepage. So let's go to add new and let's create it. Okay. I want to go to the add new and then here I want to create a new page and that will be uh, my homepage. Okay. And what I want to do right now, I want to just hit publish. Okay. So instead of this, we have to use the Divi builder. Okay. So let's just hit publish and let's go to our theme customizer. Let's go to the appearance and then let's go to the customize. So it's going to take us to the customize page. We will be moving on with this Divi builder builder later on. Okay. And here you can see that we can customize our whole website. Okay, so first thing we have to just come here to the home page setting and then we have to go to the aesthetic page and we have to select our home page and then let's hit publish. And there we go. You can see that this is our now home page. So you can go to the general settings right here. You can go to the site identity. You can change your site title, your site type tagline, and then your site icon. So what, what I want to change, I want to change um, the best... Um, event management company. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save the publish. Okay. And now here I can move on with the layout settings. So if I want the box layout, I'll just select it and you can see that my website is basically based on a boxed layout. So if you want to create a website like this, you can also create it. But nowadays, people don't create these type of website, the box layout. So make sure that you use this one. Use custom sidebar bed so you can choose the custom sidebar bed if you want to. I'll just uncheck it. Okay. And then I have the section height so you can control manage the section height, the row height and the website content width as well. Okay. So I'll be just cho choosing this one normal one because since we will not be working up with these settings, we will be just creating moving on with the Divi builder itself. That is why you can do anything. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish. Okay. And I want to just go back and I want to move on with the menu right here first and then we'll move further. So I want to create a new page and my that page will be about page. Here I want to enter about and I want to hit publish. So now I have to go to and I also want one more page and that will be my contact page. So let's click this add new again. And here we are. Now here I have to enter contact us. Uh, sorry, contact. Now I have to hit publish. And here we go. So we have three pages right now, home, about, and contact. And now I have to go to the appearance and then I have to go to the menus right here. And then here I have to enter a new menu. So this will be menu one. I'm going to hit create menu and this will be my primary menu basically. So I'm just going to select the primary menu. I'm going to select home, about and contact and I'm going to hit add to menu. Let's go to the pages and let's delete the sample page because we don't need it right now. Stay and save menu. And let's go to the pages, all pages and let's remove that page. Okay, so I want to go to the pages and then here is the sample page. I'm just going to hit trash and it should be added to the trash so we can completely remove it from the trash as well if you want to remove it delete permanently okay and here we go now let's go to our pages all pages and then here we need to go to the home page and now here what we need to do we just need to click use the Divi builder so here we are and now what we have to do we have to just hit use visual builder and it's going to take us to the main page where we can edit our whole website. So let's see how our website Divi Builder looks. Okay, here we go. If you're using this Divi for the first time, then it's going to show you this welcome to the Divi Builder, start building, take the tour. So I'm just going to hit start building because I want to start the building from yet now. Okay, and it's going to refresh right now. And let's see how our Divi Builder looks. So this is how our Divi Builder is looking. We have our home about contact. 
Okay, we need to align this. We will align this later on and then we have everything. So here is the content area where we can manage everything. We can just change it like this. We can change everything from here and we will design this now. So let's just go ahead, let's hit save. You have to just click this icon that says um, this tree. You have to click here and you can see it says the save. So I'm just gonna hit, go ahead and I'm gonna hit save. And this is my home page that is saved right now. I'm just gonna click here. I am just gonna click exit visual builder right here and it's gonna exit and it's gonna take me to the page itself. So this is how my home page is looking right now. I'm just gonna go to the menus right here and then we basically need to bring this to top and bring this to the center and let's hit save. So let's have a look at our website right now. And you can see this is how our website is looking. So you can go to the visual builder by clicking this button and, or you can go to the edit page and then here should be the visual builder button. That's you have to click here there and then it will take you there. So you can see this is how the TV builder is. You have to just click use the visual builder. So in the next video, we'll be working up with the visual builder. We'll be just designing the slider so we can also add slider, amazing slider. We'll design some sliders and then we will be moving on with the header. We will just move on with, we have to choose a color theme basically, a color scheme. We have to focus on that color scheme and then we have to design stuff. So in the next video, we'll be doing that. Goodbye guys.